Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. If you are new and you like what you see here today, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. Turn on your post bell notifications so you're notified whenever your girl upload a video. And chat with me in the comments below. So boom, y'all. For the longest, I was debating if I was even going to vlog this because, y'all, this was super unexpected. Things did not go to plan at all but i'll probably do a whole separate labor and delivery story time this is just the vloggy vlog so um it is 2 24 september 5th i've been here since like 10 o'clock um last night september 4th which is also my boyfriend's birthday so yeah my water did break on his birthday and mind you it broke literally right after he left me like how ironic but um yeah so i just want to give you all some quick little updates of what's been going on so i got this iv in my arm that is pumping out um amniotic i mean amniotic fluid uh antibiotics and anti antibiotics <laughs> you yeah, know what i'm trying to say and then i'm hooked up to the machines over here that is monitoring the baby's heart rate and my contractions so boom when i got here last night or whatever and how my water broke we came well that's that's all for the story time look i can't like confuse the two but basically last night um they had checked me to make sure that it was really my water that broke and long behold it was really my water that broke and so then they checked my cervix and to see if I was dilated or whatever. Y'all, my cervix was still, I'm saying was, because I haven't got checked since last night. They say when your water break early breaks early, they try not to check you as often because when your water breaks, you have a higher risk for infection. Hence why my IV has um, antibiotics in it. But yeah, so my cervix was still completely intact and I was not dilated at all. But at this specific hospital y'all they do not let you go home um at all until the baby comes so i'm i'm here till she comes i'm waiting on my boyfriend to get back he was here with me last night we slept here together and all that i can give y'all a little hospital um well this room tour when i get up right now i'm in the high risk room but i only have to stay here for 24 hours till i'm 34 weeks which will be tomorrow on sunday so if i'm still pregnant <laughs> um they would transfer me to the regular labor and delivery delivery room but my boyfriend he went home because like i said this was completely last minute y'all so he went to go pack a bag and he went to take cash to his mother's house because we don't know how long we're gonna be here ain't nobody there to watch and feed the dog um i tried to you know pack what i could last night when my water initially broke while i was waiting for him to come back but i was leaking everywhere so it was just kind of like i just packed my laptop toothbrush uh chargers and that's literally all I, I, I packed. I had left out the house with a whole robe on and a towel in between my legs. And that was that. But yeah, stay tuned for the labor and delivery story time. Um, the next clip y'all about to see, I recorded before I recorded this intro. I remembered that my little remote here has a button for the light above me. But the light is dumb bright, y'all. Stupid bright. So I'll be back when my boyfriend gets here. I just wanted to come on and introduce the vlog. Baby K can come today or tomorrow, or she can thug it out for real and not come till October. My main thing, unless completely necessary, I don't want to get induced. But we're gonna see where this, you know, ooh, where this all heads. Y'all, so babe is back, looking like the bag lady. Bag Got his neck pillow, Ooh. blanket for me, oh, boppy, the breastfeed, that to um, lay her in. We don't have the one that would like fit in the little bed um, yet. Somebody ordered it off the registry, but yeah, won't be in attendance to the baby shower, y'all. <laughs> you went to the McDonald's closest to here? Yeah. Where's my smoothie? Mm -hmm. It's behind my laptop. Thank you. I wasn't that hungry, y'all. I ate the hospital food. It, it, it could hold me over. Just want some fries. That probably, huh? Yeah, he's trash. 
Huh? I said they trash. They trash? You know, it's fresh. It was probably fresh when you got them. Oh, yeah, that was fresher. They still have them. Well, when I first got them, boy, dang. You got, um, like some barbecue sauce or something? Yo, look at what his bed. It was just, you know, two seats with the slide it back down so they could see. I left my iPad here, right? No, you took it. You left it home. Alright. So yeah, that's originally how it was, but like you pull it up and it become a chair and you just slide your little feet under it. That is so crafty. Alright, you guys, so I got up because I had to go to the bathroom walking around on my little Ivy thing, but decided I'm gonna give y'all a little a little house tour, MTV Cribs, because I'm going to be here for a little minute. I don't know where the light is. So. Right, so we're going to start with the light off. So, if I would focus. So, this is the front door that they come in and out of. Let me turn right here. The sink for them, some linens. Um, that's the Doppler to check the baby's heart rate. This is where my baby gonna go when she come. This is where she gonna sleep, the little bassinet. And I'm guessing this is where they do like the weight and all that stuff. So yeah, this is over here. They got the curtain. This is my bathroom. Again, I am in the high risk room. Huh? You throwing what? Okay. So it's a toilet, shower, um, mirror and stuff i'm trying not to have to drag this in so i'm not going all the way in but they gave me a little care package i don't know if you see but we are, we bought our own um toothpaste and toothbrush but in the care package it's toothpaste toothbrush i don't i didn't really go through it but i'm sure they got probably like body wash toothpaste, shampoo shampoo toothpaste toothbrush shampoo conditioner and a comb <laughs> well yeah yeah y'all heard it here um this is the doctor's little station area. Well, I guess I could wash my hands there too if needed. Gloves, they got the pads for, I was leaking an, um, amniotic fluid. I'm not really leaking as much as I was yesterday anymore. This is my little bed. This is babe's little sofa. That top um, part comes down and it becomes a whole bed across. Then over here is just our stuff. TV, a computer. The lady has said that they got like an iPad or a Mac or a laptop, something over there that like you could FaceTime family members when it's time and stuff. But yeah, this is our little first room tour. It looks like you had a big contraction. Oh, well, I didn't even feel that. You didn't feel anything? No. I don't know. Did you lean up in bed or I yeah. yeah. But it looks like, see how the baby's heart rate dipped a little bit? Uh huh. So let me just leave you on a little bit longer. Okay. But I turned it off. That's fine. Yeah, fluids can come off. Sorry. Oh, I but was on eating. the monitor. Okay. No, no, no. I'll just make sure that the baby looks okay. So uh -huh. I'm gonna probably take you off in another oh, 20, 30 go. minutes. Okay. All right, you guys. I wanted to come show y'all the screen of what she was talking about. So the blue is the baby's heart rate. The purple is my contraction. So as y'all can see, when my contractions went up right there her heart rate went down but that like happens every time I have a contraction that contraction looks really big and I did not feel that at all like it happened maybe like a minute before she walked in here and I was vlogging didn't feel it at all but I haven't really been feeling any of my contractions for the most part so but back to this food baby you want to come try it I'm gonna try it too but we gonna right, get a you, second opinion. You always get me to try. Cause I'm picky. First, so you, so you know, they can take me out. It's good. It's alright. Edible. So I don't know if it's I was solid. vlogging, but yeah, they gave me so. Oh, they gave me cheesecake too, y'all. Got cheesecake and a roll and apple juice. But a lady actually came in and took my order earlier. So tomorrow I'm gonna have food that I actually like. So today I don't know who put this together, but mm. let well, me try. The game was... What I said it was? No, it was in the, um, it was in the trunk, like cause the in the trunk. Yeah, cause the that bag when I first came was in the trunk. Oh yeah, the meatball. I mean, meatloaf not bad, y'all. It ain't my dad's, but it's alright. Um, but like when I got to my mom, stuff had fell out because you know I was just driving all breathing. So it was behind a bear, but it was in the back of the trunk. So something told me to 
lift up the, the back seat. Well, at least you ain't get all set up with the PlayStation since yeah. we're moving anyways. Oh yeah, we also about to change rooms, y'all. So. They doing that? They doing that she said, at first it was like after these bags went out, I was supposed to get taken off and go in the shower. But now since the heart rate dropped, she want to keep me on for a little bit. And she said that they would be coming to change the room like within the next hour. All of this was supposed to be happening within the next hour. So I probably would change rooms before I get in the shower. I don't know. I'll ask her when she come back. So it is... 644 and according to the screen i just had another um contraction i felt that but it didn't hurt it was a big one too i will show you but it's not that serious but with this contraction her heart rate didn't drive so drive they get drive drop so as of right now they're 20 minutes apart so they're still pretty far well i'm not gonna say it's 20 minutes apart till i have a third one because this this could have just been a coincidence it could have just been two and it was 20 minutes apart but if my third one come through at six o'clock they 20 minutes apart but still that is um pretty far did you see that one what it was that a contraction or am yes. I, it yes. was yeah yeah did you see how it showed up on here mm -hmm. did you feel that one i did but it didn't hurt i felt okay. it though <laughs> Yeah, and then the, the other one was back here a little bit off the monitor a little bit. That's where the baby dipped. So I wanted to see if she would dip again. And she didn't. She didn't. This looks beautifully reactive. So good news is I'm taking you off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the doctors have written that you can go over to uh, 2M, which is more like our step down unit. Mm -hmm. Like this is more, I guess you can think of it as like an ICU where you mm -hmm. have continuous monitoring and stuff like that. Mm hmm. 2M is more of um, still high risk, mm -hmm. but it's more of like a step down. So mm -hmm. you don't have to be continuously monitored. We'll monitor you twice a day, usually once in the morning, and then again in the afternoon, um, early evening, like before or after dinner. Okay. And as needed. All right. Like if any time you wake up and all of a sudden you're feeling contractions that are, you know, coming, you know, every few minutes or whatever, mm -hmm. obviously they can put you on the monitor anytime. Right. But you don't have to be hooked up to the IV. You'll still get your antibiotics. Okay. So you're still going to get them again. I think eight o'clock they're due. Okay. But you won't have to worry about um, being hooked you know, up being to hooked it all up day. constantly. Okay. And being hooked up in the middle of the night and have to unplug this to go to the bathroom. Right. Like at night. And I'd be able to walk around the room and stuff. You can walk around the room. <laughs> you can go out in this garden area out here. Okay. I'll take it off. So yeah, it's a little bit. A little bit better. Now the rooms aren't quite as big as over here, but it's a little, you know, a little less strict. So you guys, we are going on a little uh, foot trip. <laughs> I was gonna call it a road trip, but going down. we on foot, so it's a little foot trip. It's on L. So we're going to the cafeteria because y'all, that last meal I had with the meatloaf, was at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. What time is it, babe? Eleven. Eleven o'clock. Who eats Mommy. dinner at five o'clock? They could at least give it to me at like seven. So I'm hungry, and I heard that the cafeteria oh, food is way better than the food that they actually give the patients. So we about to go see what it's hitting for, what the hype about. Y'all probably watching this vlog like, girl, labor and delivery, where? But y'all, I w I don't know if I said this when I introduced the vlog, but. My water did really break, but it's not leaking anymore, but I cannot leave the hospital until the baby gets here. I, I, I remember saying that part, but you know, if I'm here for like weeks or whatever, you know, every day is going to get repetitive. So I'll probably like vlog tomorrow as well. And then I won't vlog again until, you know, it's actually time because I don't want y'all this vlog to be dumb long for no reason. All right, y'all, let's do one last belly check. I got on these fake little underwear that they gave me because, y'all, I literally came in here with a robe on, this shirt, and a towel in between my legs. No underwear, nothing. I didn't even pack underwear. I was not expecting to be here. Earlier today, I sent him back home to pack a little bag for us and the baby. And one thing that I forgot to tell him to bring is a brush. Do y'all see my hair? <laughs> and then that little comb package, I mean, what is it called? Care package. Care package. They have a comb. What am I doing with a comb in this? But now I got a way to finesse, but I'll probably finesse. Well, I don't need to be presentable right now. 
Right here, babe? It says lesson cat. Oh, you're right. Get a little lunch tray like you're in school. Ha ha ha. So let me show y'all the little menu that they have. Y'all can pause and stop as y'all want to see. Uh, I don't know what that is, but this is just the menu. This is the food that I got from the calf. I got chicken tenders and french fries, which is on my lunch list for tomorrow. So I really didn't want to get it, but whatever. Um, I wanted sushi, but the only sushi they would have had that I would have been able to eat is a California roll. But it was spicy California roll, and the sauce that they had on it was like aioli, and pregnant people can't have raw eggs, so I couldn't have it. But they've got a spicy tuna roll. His dad's about to bring him a sandwich, and then he's eating some of my tenders, because I only wanted two. But he was like, he'll eat some. Like, it was a deal if you got four. Then I asked them to bring me a little iced tea rather than paying for a drink downstairs. Because they didn't really have much to drink. They had honest tea, which he said was nasty. Um, water, apple juice, orange juice, cranberry juice, which I can get up here for free. But granted, it's the nasty little school bottle ones. But and this is my first time trying the iced tea. So hopefully the iced tea is good. We did move to our different room too, by the way. It's small, so I can literally give you an overview right here. So boom, the door right there. Coming. We actually got a fridge in this one now, so that's good. TV, his bed's right here. I'm right here with the table. The bathroom's in there. The bathroom's a lot smaller. Shower's a lot smaller, but this wouldn't be my delivery room. I'm actually not 100% sure why I'm in this room now. It's going to be your room room after delivery. After, how you know? That's it. How you know? That's it. This is eternity. This is still high risk she said this is still high risk it's just not all right let me eat before my food get cold y'all good morning you guys so today is the day that i actually got to pick the food that i wanted so hopefully it's all right so it's breakfast it's like eight o'clock in the morning um if it focus so i have pancakes bacon scrambled eggs and a fruit cup i probably won't be eating the scrambled eggs because i don't even really like eggs like that and i heard hospital eggs is disgusting but this is what i picked out today and they are letting me change my lunch option because last night i had the tenders and that's also what i wanted for lunch and i mean the tenders was all right but i would rather try something um different so they kill me with the fruit that they put on the plate of the fruit, food. Because the fruit be hot. So does watermelon probably hot. But this is what it's looking like. <laughs> Some microwavable pancakes. Bacon looks good though. Eggs look like they would be alright if I added some salt and pepper. I'll probably taste them. But yeah, this is my little fruit cup. Oh, shoot, y'all. <laughs> Freaking fail. Wow. Alright, so yeah, I'm about to eat. Um, they gave me my vitamins. One's a prenatal and one is for heartburn. I don't remember the actual name of it. But after I eat this, I'm probably going to go back to sleep real because somebody came in here at a little before 6 o'clock in the morning just talking to me. They come in here every morning before 6 o'clock in the morning just asking me questions. And I'm like, yo, I like waking me out of my sleep asking me questions. I'm like, I just woke up. I don't I don't know. I gotta get readjusted to the world. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll probably go right back to sleep. Good afternoon you guys. So I actually just wanted to come and talk to y'all because I feel like I've just been showing y'all a bunch of food. And this is the whole labor and delivery vlog so I should be keeping y'all updated. So um, I told y'all how we switched rooms. This is still a high risk room, but it's something different about it. I forgot what it is, but this room, as y'all saw, doesn't have an area for the baby to go. So I wouldn't be delivering in this room. They just have me here temporarily. So as of today, which is Sunday, which would have been my baby shower, y'all, which is now postponed. Stay tuned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying it throughout the video. Stay tuned for the labor and delivery story time. Um, so I can like tell y'all the, the, the events that led me up to this position. So, uh, yeah, baby shower would have been today, but today I am also officially 34 weeks. 
um the nurse was saying that like they normally like at 34 weeks they induce you like if you're here and you're water break they induce you at 34 weeks but being that i don't want to be induced they're letting me wait it out until she decides to naturally come but earlier this morning a nurse came and talked to me and she said that they're only gonna let me go up to 36 weeks so that's two weeks a part of me doesn't even want to be here for another two weeks just like here but at the same time a part of me wants to do what i can to keep her inside as long as i can so she's not necessarily in the nicu that long so um last night what they have what they did since my water broke and all that but like i'm not contracting not dilating they gave me two steroid shots y'all they hurt so bad so they gave me the first one the night that i first got here or whatever so originally when one of the nurses was telling me about the steroid shot she was like oh you can get it in your arm or your butt so i'm like all right i anticipated on getting it in my arm because that's where i get shots so then the nurse that actually gave me the shot or whatever she just automatically said Oh, go ahead, roll over. And, um, okay, I gotta call the nurse to. So then the nurse actually gave me the shot. She just was like, roll over your butt, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, the other nurse said I can get it in my arm. And she's like, oh, well, I, I recommend the butt because it's more fat. And I'm like, so it hurts? And she was like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Yes, it does. Like, and I don't, listen, all these tattoos, needles still make me nervous. Like, when I first got here and they had to put the IV in my arm. They had to put the IV in my arm and they had to draw blood. I, I, I was shaking. Like, my nerves. And it was, like, uncontrollable. Like, I wasn't doing it. My body just naturally... I don't do needles, y'all. So, I was like, alright, we gonna have to do the butt. And I made my boyfriend come and hold my hand. And I was squeezing his hand. The first time was worse than the second time. Because then they, had, they, they give you two shots within 24 hours. You get the first shot. And then 24 hours later, you get the last shot. So, I got my second one at 1 o'clock this morning. That one wasn't as bad. It's not the shot itself, but afterwards, that pain. Like, it makes me wonder, athletes that do steroids, do it feel like that? And if if it do, I was never, it was never that serious. No, thank you. But anyways, um, I actually got my lunch for the day. And it's probably going to get a little cold. So, let me show y'all. They did let me change it, by the way. So, instead of the tenders, I got... Some herb crusted fish, green beans, mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. diced peaches, and um, cranberry juice. So this is what it looks like. Looks pretty good. I'm going to keep it covered though because I'm not eating right now and it's still hot. So if I could preserve its warmness. What I think I'm going to do about my whole hair situation. Because you know, I kind of want to go into labor, you know, look at some semi-decent. So... Next time Fave goes home, I'm gonna have him bring my shampoo, conditioner, and blow dryer, and a wig. And I'm gonna wash and blow dry my hair and braid it and put a wig on. That sounds like a lot, though. So I don't know if I'm really gonna feel like doing that. But even if I, you know, could wash my hair, braid it, and put my bonnet on, that's good enough for me. I'll give birth in a bonnet. Ain't nobody telling me nothing. <laughs> okay, but my makeup's here, but the most I would probably do is like my eyebrows or something. I don't know. It's just so unexpected. How you feeling over there, sir? He watching TV, y'all. I don't think he hear me. You talking to me? Yes. What you said? I said, how you feeling over there? I'm not What are you doing? Watching Power. Watching Power? Mm -hmm. The new one? Mm -hmm. You are so... F I have my face. Now you watch Power. Now it's now I watch Power. Watch, That's well, crazy. The last six episodes so the what? Last and this is a whole new. Face. This is a no whole new series. Yeah, this isn't Power Power. That's now. crazy. You know that you... say no more. Now every time, mm, mm -hmm. no. When new things come on, I'm never waiting for you ever you again. Watch TV. Okay, that's fine. When Love and Hip Hop and all that come back on, we're not watching watch it together TV. no more. Okay, that's cool. You won't, you, you won't have to. Okay. Okay. We can't watch TV together. My point being, you're not gonna remember to watch TV. It's How am I not gonna remember to job. watch TV? Like, bye. Anyway, y'all, I'm about to eat this food, I guess, and watch some TV by myself, I guess. Babe's grandmother came bearing gifts, <laughs> food, and I, what would have been her baby shower gift. Y'all, I'm so bored. Like, I'm on H&M, baby shopping. 
and it's so weird because it's like being here I'm not doing anything different that I would be doing if I was home but being home just hit different you know like uh, and he's going to be leaving me for a couple of days y'all he's going to be on, on call by, on stand what you say I'm crying he gonna be on standby y'all he's leaving tomorrow afternoon because he got to work on Tuesday um when he get off work on Tuesday and Wednesday he gonna come stop well when he get off work on Tuesday he gonna come stop by then Wednesday he gonna come back and stay but this means I ain't gonna be able to do my hair till Tuesday y'all thank you <laughs> thank you thank you so much Thank you so much. Because your child wants to be last minute and want to wait. Because she's her father's child. It's not being last minute. It just ain't no reason in taking it out there. He can take out the car seat. Put the car seat in the car. Not even the car seat. I want to put the base in the car. Yeah. That's what stays in the car. Even your father said, yeah, I had a car seat already. But don't they do well with like premature babies? They do a whole driver's seat, I mean, car seat test, so he's gonna have to bring it back upstairs. Yeah, yeah, but right now it could be in the car. Not the baby, the car seat's gonna stay right in here. This is just the car seat, too. This is mad big. Oh my god, that's bad big, right. What are y'all doing? What are you doing, Claire? I was. I'm walking back and forth. So, this oh, it's connected, y'all. But this is the stroller my sis got. This is just a car piece. The car, what is it called? Car seat piece. The actual stroller is in the car. But basically, the stroller piece you can swap out with the car seat piece so we can take the whole car seat and put it on the wheels of the stroller but then the stroller has its own little seating area too i can't really feel y'all gonna see in vlogs to come or whatever daddy dearest y'all look at him so he bought his um his playstation the first day we got here but we couldn't figure out how to hook it up to this tv because this tv doesn't have um, what's it called? The HDMI access, well, it got the, the port, but not the access. The yeah, whatever. Door. Yeah, so he got this little TV from somebody he worked with, and he about to play his game. I'll update y'all. We're now on day five. Um, they did my ultrasound earlier today. Everything is fine. The lady said that there's still, like, enough... Um, amniotic fluid around her. She's weighing approximately five pounds and somewhere between six to eight ounces. So um, my sister's good. She can come any day now, whatever. Sooner the better. We on 30, 34 weeks and four days or three days? It's Wednesday, so four days. No, I think it's three. Oh, well, yeah, 30, okay, 34. Yeah, on Sunday. Sunday. So. I don't know if I told y'all this, but they're giving me up till 36 weeks. So, my sis got a week and a half to make it do what it does. I need to get up and walk more and do more, but I just, it's so depressing being here. Like, uh, I want to leave so bad. Good morning, you guys. So, this is how my morning is looking. It's looking very Catrice the brand, all right? You know, hospital and all that, the grind doesn't stop. I look a hot mess though. But yeah, I'm currently packaging some orders to go out. Y'all yeah, know I can't, well, I don't know if y'all know, but I can't leave the hospital, but my boyfriend can. So he gonna go and drop these off to the post office. He bought me all my business stuff and stuff so I can fulfill orders. If, by the time y'all see this, I am gonna be out. Um but if you haven't already make sure you guys are shopping my business at shop catrice on instagram shop catrice.com i will leave the link and all that in the description box and y'all gonna get a special coupon code if you're watching this video so i will leave that in the description box as well but um yeah you guys i look a hot mess last night i washed my hair and y'all yeah, want to see what it look like underneath look at this it looks a hot freaking mess oh my god 
so yeah i just washed and blow dried it i didn't feel like braiding it so i just put it up but i was tired of looking how i was looking not that this looks any better but i got a wig here now so i can soon make it look like it looked better but um any updates because again i don't i don't know when she's gonna come y'all tomorrow officially makes a week since i've been here and like they haven't checked me or anything since i was admitted so i don't know if there's any progression or if i'm just here and i feel like i'm just here but yesterday i did have a, a sonogram they checked her amniotic fluid levels being that my water did break on friday it's about to be a week so i wanted to make sure my sis was still good inside <laughs> um her amniotic fluid levels is regular she's weighing in at five pounds and around six to eight ounces so she's good for her age if you will today i'm 34 weeks and four days i don't know if i told y'all this already how they're only letting me go up to 36 weeks if she doesn't come naturally by 36 weeks they're probably gonna induce me which i don't really understand like if her amniotic fluid levels the only reason they're keeping me in the hospital is because my water broke and like you're at risk for in infection and all that but i take in antibiotics every day to like decrease that risk but if she's still good inside like if i didn't lose that much fluid and I, I haven't been leaking it that much anyways like every other day it's a little bit in the morning but if she's still good inside why do i have to still be here like i could have my baby shower i could be home preparing because y'all nothing's prepared because this was so last minute mind y'all the first day i got here my sister she was like oh did you have a baby bag packed and i'm like what do you mean she's like the bag you're supposed to pack weeks before you go in delivery i'm like no i was gonna pack that after the baby shower like you forget i'm still a whole like i have a whole six weeks till my due date like i had i i thought i had time y'all couldn't even film the what's my diaper bag video couldn't do none of that but so yeah nothing's prepared granted we have been bringing some stuff here but she don't even have her diaper bag because her diaper bag was on the registry and somebody did order it but we didn't have the baby shower so don't have a diaper bag but my friend who ordered it she said she's gonna um ship it to our apartment it's really just a waiting game we got like 10 10 more days really dang so we got like 10 more days and my sister will hopefully be here be on her way here she's very much so acting like the stuff in virgo that she might wind up being instead of a libra yeah. too <laughs> y'all heard him y'all like gang gang he mad hype that she gonna be well more than likely she's gonna be a virgo all right you guys so this is me checking in and this will be the last time i have to check in because it's go time i look a hot freaking mess like i look crazy but today is september 13th it is about to be three o'clock it's 2:55, and your girl is in labor so i tried to pick up my camera before i got the epidural yes your girl caved in and got the mm -hmm. epidural mm -hmm. but um, right when I was about to start vlogging, they had to change my IV or something. Something happened and I couldn't start vlogging. We're in a whole different room now. We're in the actual labor and delivery room. Um, I'll just see if I can give y'all a quick overview from the bed. But, yeah, basically, I had to get induced because her heart rate was really high. It's dropping down now. So when they first brought me to this room, she checked my cervix. Mind y'all, they didn't, they haven't checked my cervix since i got here last friday i'm um i'm officially 35 weeks today like today made 35 weeks so we was aiming for 36 but my sister said no because they checked my cervix show and i was four and a half centimeters already dilated mind you i wasn't i was feeling the contractions but they weren't bad but my sister was coming on her own anyways they just gave me the pitocin to speed things along because her heart rate was so high so yeah as soon as they gave me that pitocin you know, some contractions i was trying to thug it out y'all i was trying it was probably yeah, yeah, a good 10-15 yeah. minutes and i was like nah i can't do it so i caved in and i got that hey. um they hooked me up to the iv machine but my iv was leaking so they had to give me a new iv and the new iv is in this arm my right yeah. arm which is my dominant arm and i gotta keep it straight i can't move it it hurts um no, babe's here no, too no, by the way he was gonna go home and like 
um drop some of the bags off because we got mad stuff here and want cash but they was like oh we don't recommend you leave because you know anything can happen really quickly and then you won't be here blah blah, blah. so <laughs> he's gonna get somebody else to go to the apartment and want cash his mom got a key so is it time for a birthday party <laughs> Catheter in and sees hair. I think there's. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see down there real quick? I see it a little bit. Well, yeah, I see it, but I don't see her. Well, no. Oh. Wait, you're not going to see her until I do this. Yeah. Until you start pushing. Oh. Oh. I told you, you don't even have to do a vaginal exam. There's a baby. There's no need for a vaginal exam. I love it. We also have page pizza. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Good right there. Yeah. Your contractions are going to start, and whether you feel them or not, we're going to tell you when we see them on the monitor at least. We're going to let them build a little bit, and then our goal is to do three pushes for 10 seconds each. And when we say pushes, it's like having the biggest bowel movement of your life. Like, you have to take a major move. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, just right in there, right in your butt is where you're pushing down. And we'll give you a little support so you can kind of understand what we mean by that. Okay? And the other thing you can do is kind of curl over your baby. So literally like the biggest crunch you've ever done and the biggest poop you've ever done at the same time. Seriously, that's what it is. So we'll do that for 10 seconds and then you'll come down, take a breath, right back on it. 10 seconds, take a breath, right back on it. Okay, make sense so far? Yeah. Cool. I know. I explained it in the weirdest way, but that's honestly like what it feels like. Okay? And we'll tell you little adjustments you can make as you're doing it. Other thing I tell moms to think about is all the stuff you couldn't have while you were pregnant because this baby is going to come out. Right. <laughs> and you're going to buy her dinner, whatever she wants. <laughs> It's really an exciting day for some reasons. <laughs> Although I'm definitely on Sundays or Chick-fil-A. That's, well, that's so true. Wow. Wow. You had to wait until morning for your Chick-fil-A. Yeah. That's exactly what she said. She said, first thing about what do you Oh, I know. <laughs> well, they open oh, quite morning. early in the morning, to be honest. There's always a line of cars out there at whatever <laughs> hour it is. No, so that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I drive, drive yeah. the one over here. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. So I'll wait till the next one to just You just had one. Great. I think I'm getting ready to play. Uh, <laughs> no, this is the real deal. So I want you to bring these legs up. You're gonna pull yep. behind your legs here. Put your hands on each side of your leg okay. here. Right under here. Take a deep breath in. There you go. Put your chin touch. to your chest yep. and bear down your butt like you're pooping. Push. Push down all your Two, my fingers. Three. Good. Four. Yes, yeah, right five, there. Six. Well seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Take Beautiful. a deep breath awesome. and do it again, mom. You don't have to push the long. Do it again. Nope. Push. Yep. You're awesome. Two. Three. Good. Four. Hold that for Five. Again. Six. Push, push, seven, push, push, push. Good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. And again, amazing. Do it again. Back up onto it. You're doing push. exactly like we talked about. Three, three, all in your bottom. Yeah, four. Push, push, five. Push, push, push. Six. Seven. Even eight. eight push, 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 push. Ten. Good. Good. Yeah, that's great. awesome. I hope you're planning to style some curly hair because I see some curls out here. <laughs> Do you lean in a certain rate or not? No, I, I'm, no. I, you, I mean, you could just, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going by the number. Yep, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, I'm about to let them know, because I don't know how this works. So, you guys, do you notice anything different? Do I look like somebody's mama, y'all? So, yes. She is here, okay, y'all. My sis came into this world a month early, but she was weighing six pounds, five ounces, 19 inches long, so she was pretty big, okay? My aunt, she was like, listen, you probably lucky you didn't go to full term, because she would have been huge, probably. But yes, my baby girl is here, y'all. It is actually the next day. Uh, also gave birth at 4.24 p.m. Um, right after, or whatever, I ate and I threw all of that up y'all it was, it was I was so freaking hungry like yesterday was just all so unexpected 
but as I've been saying throughout this whole video, yeah, I'm probably tired of me saying it. Stay tuned for the story time. I'll, I'm gonna fill y'all in on everything, but yeah, all I had to eat yesterday morning was some cereal, and that was at 8 o'clock in the morning, and then she came at 424, so like I couldn't eat from 8 to 424. So I ate right after and I, I threw it up like literally right after I finished like five minutes after I finished I, I was feeling mad sick and I threw it up and the nurse she was like yeah because you ate so much so quickly because yesterday I mean not yesterday the day before yesterday Saturday yeah the day before yesterday was my boyfriend's sister's baby shower we were actually pregnant at the same time um but she was due before me but I had my baby first clearly um so yeah it was her baby shower and he bought us some food back so that's what i had ate and she was like yeah the nurse she was like yeah i wasn't gonna say anything because you were saying how you were really hungry so i let you eat but yeah that's normal so like i said she is a month early she was born at 35 weeks we were aiming for 36 but 35 not too shabby um so she is currently in the nicu I don't know how long she's going to be there. I get discharged tomorrow and tomorrow they'll also let me know whether or not she'll be able to leave tomorrow or how long she will have to stay in there, but it shouldn't be much longer. Um, what was I gonna say? So yeah, I went to see her last night, I went to see her this morning and also the lactation nurse, I don't know if they consider nurses, I don't know specialist the lactation specialist came and talked to me this morning because i too want to breastfeed so i actually have the pump right here i'm about to pump she told me i need to be doing this eight times a day even though um the milk doesn't really come in till like three to four days postpartum just to one to get the colostrum colostrum listen y'all it's something that comes before the milk just to get that out I should be pumping and yesterday I did I was pumping last night I did get a pretty decent amount y'all they put my IV my first IV was in this arm and it, it looked like it must have my tattoo I hope it didn't I ain't gonna be tight but like damn and now I got a new IV in this arm and it I'm ready for it to come out but they told me I had to keep my IV in for 24 hours after labor so it's two o'clock now so I got like two hours and a half more to go but they might as well take it out now because not too long ago I finished my last bag of antibiotics so I shouldn't be getting anything else through the IV so they might as well come below like it's so uncomfortable I don't even want to breastfeed again right now because I, and this is my dominant hand that's why I was irritated that they had to switch um arms because right before I went into labor um the IV on this arm was leaking so she had to switch it and put it on this arm and I was like, that's my dominant hand. She was like, I'm sorry. I'm just like, so yeah, I've just been uncomfortable since they put in my arm. But yeah, so we're in a new, well, I'm in a new room now. This is the postpartum room. It looks just like um, many of the rooms that, yo, we literally been in like five, six rooms since <laughs> I got admitted in. But um yeah the only thing with this room is it doesn't have a fridge our last room had a fridge but i guess because they're like this is the postpartum room you shouldn't really be here that long the other room was kind of like a waiting room we're waiting for baby to do what it want to do so i could give you a quick overview from the bed so yeah behind that um behind that curtain is the door sink tv closet the bed couch eating area breast pump there's a chair back there and then this is my bed I'm gonna get up in a second just so I can show y'all all the stuff that oh and then over here is like my IV pump and the computer the nurses be using but in a second I'm gonna get up and go in the bathroom and show y'all like all the aftercare stuff that they gave me and stuff why did I say and stuff so much yo I know one thing's for certain two things for sure I'm so overseeing myself with this dang on bonnet on, okay? Granted, I did braid my hair the other day, but I never felt like putting on my wig. Like, I don't understand how and why people be going through all of that to get cute. Like, as far as makeup go, and mind y'all, I'm one of them extra type of people. Like, I came in with the mindset. One, I came in with the mindset that I was going to go natural. I didn't go natural, y'all. I got epidural, but we, we going to talk about that. Two, I came in with the mindset that I was going to get mad cute 
and do my makeup have my wig slayed even if it wasn't like for me to give birth and getting cute i was in the other room so long that i got bored so i'm like i'm gonna do my makeup for no reason like take pictures being that i didn't get to take any maternity pictures y'all i'm so sad about that but um yeah i just didn't feel like doing any of that so i can only imagine like going into labor and you really gonna sit here and beat your faces mm -mm. how she met me how she met me you know your mama cute girl <laughs> um but what was i about to say yeah as far as um recovery like for, for it to be the next day i feel a lot better like it's not it hasn't even been a complete 24 hours but i feel a lot better than i thought i would something that they don't tell you though is that even after having a baby you still gonna have contractions y'all like but they're 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 minor they could be comparable to like regular cramps but now that i know what contractions feel like they're contractions they're just not as strong but i googled it because i've been googling everything since i've been here um uh it's because your uterus is shrinking back to its normal size so it's contracting back to you know normal all right so let me show y'all my little care after birth care package that they gave me so i have these it focuses okay there we go these witch hazel pads this dermablast which is this don't like i ain't read exactly what it says but oh it's a fast itch and burn relief she when she explained it to me she said it was a numbing spray so i never actually read the can but this isn't helpful to me honestly um give you some pads some underwear disposable underwear she didn't go over what this was, but like I've been seeing a bunch of social media posts and it also says it on it. It's a cleansing bottle, whatever. And they got these multi-purpose washcloths. I also had ice pack, um, ice, like ice pads, but I'm wearing the last one, TMI, but they're gonna bring me some more. And this is me in the mirror. The mirror, like the lighting in here is great, but it's so great that it's bad on camera and pictures. But just for the record, let's do a uh, less than 24, all right, 22 hours postpartum. And this is what my stomach is looking like. So yeah, y'all, I'm looking how I was looking when I was four months. Cause like I, I had a small pregnancy the whole time. I was all baby for real. So that's how I'm looking from the front. It looks pretty flat. So this is it from the side and yeah she waited like literally till yesterday till i was pushing to give me stretch marks because now i do have a bit of stretch marks but they should fade so i'm not really worried um my stomach is just really soft and flabby and it's it's weird but again we're not even fully 24 hours postpartum so in the vlogs to come i'll be giving y'all updates i'll take pictures along the way too so i'm gonna actually take a picture so i'm gonna take a picture every day at 4 30 if i remember hopefully i remember <laughs> but all right you guys so i just wanted to wrap up this labor and delivery vlog i'm actually you know happy that i did decide to vlog because i wasn't going to at first like like i said this was so like is this really happening right now like when i came in on friday i was not expected to have to stay or I was expecting her to come that same day. Like I wasn't expecting to have to stay and just nothing was happening. But, um, and I looked a hot mess. So I'm like, yo, do I really want to vlog for you? But my mindset when I first started this vlog, I was like, I'm doing this for me, like for the memories. That's the least I can do. Cause I ain't gonna have no maternity pictures. I ain't gonna be pregnant at my baby shower. Da, da, da. So I was like, this is the least I could do. But you know, in the, in, the, in the end, all in all, I am glad that I did vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, turn on your post bell notifications, all that good stuff. And follow me on Instagram for updates on baby girl. And I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah.